ton of ducks in there. Yeah, it's just loaded with ducks here. Yeah, I guess I should, uh... Yeah, I'm at a place called Lidditz Springs Park. I guess it's still morning yet. Well, it's almost lunchtime. I got done finished teaching for the day. I was teaching some physics and biology this morning. That's why I'm still kind of dressed up. I didn't really change. I just put my gray hat on, transform into the wandering woodsman. So, I'm not really here so much for the ducks and stuff. They're cool to see, but there's some possibly some caves here. I'm pretty sure they're not big enough to walk in. And I think from what I read, the one is walled off with masonry. But later this November, I'm speaking at the Lancaster County Historical Society about caves in Lancaster County. I'm just doing, here doing some research, see if those caves are here or what they look like. So that's what I'm kind of doing here today. It's not too far from where I was teaching this morning, so I thought I'd stop in and check things out. Pretty popular place here. There are lots of people come to this park. Cool. We'll continue walking around, see what all is here. I'll try to find those caves too. Just walking up the path here. Of course, all this water is coming from the spring. This is Lidditz Springs Park, so. And up there where the springs are, where the caves are supposed to be, so. We'll see what's up there. And more ducks. Because I think the ducks are here mostly because of people. There's a lot of people here feeding the ducks. You might hear some construction noise up there too. That's the uh, the old Wilbur chocolate factory that was here in Lidditz. I guess they're tearing it down. I don't know if they're tearing down all of it or just some of it, but that's what you're hearing up there. And the caves, I'm pretty sure were up here. Up there you can see where the springs come out of the ground. There's like a rock wall. I know I think that's where one cave was, is back there. It's the happening place though. Yeah, you can really see it bubbling out up there. Yeah, so these are where the caves were located, actually. Um, but they're walled off with this rock wall. I think, like this one has a grate over it. There's something there written in German. I think it means, I re read about it. I think it's something about God's spring is always full or something like that. And I'm pretty, pretty sure they put this grate here because I read I've heard about people going under that and the grate wasn't there that you could go under that and swim up underneath on the other side of this wall and that's where the cave was. So they put that grate there to keep people from doing that. I'm guessing that's what that's for because I, like I said, I've read about that. Kind of a safety thing because if you're not, like the water levels are really high so if you swam under there and didn't come up in the right spot you might not find air. So I'm pretty sure that's why that grade is there, to keep people from going in. Because I think, they said the one cave here was pretty extensive. It went in like 20, 28 feet, well, which isn't like terribly ex extensive, but compared to the other caves that were here. So, yeah. So behind these walls are some caves. How sturdy this is. Yeah, it's pretty sturdy. You know, there's several openings here, and you can look in here, you can see how if the water level was lower, you could actually perhaps crawl back in there. But we've had so much rain recently that there's no way. There's just tons of spring water flowing out of these caves. These little caverns. Cool, this one you can Look back a little bit more. Let me go light. Yeah, this one, if you didn't mind getting wet, and you were small, you could actually crawl back into that one. Not much room, but. Huh. It's 
Kind of tempting though. Not today though. I'm not sure I would fit either, but. So there's one more, there's one more cave I'm gonna look for. I think they said it was just 30 feet. I think I saw it up in steps up here. Um, they said it's just kind of a slit in the rock, so I'm gonna go check it out. Since I'm here, that's what I'm here for today. Check out these little caves. They said that one you probably can't fit in either, but we're gonna check it out. Yeah, I think it's just up here, actually. There's a slit. I don't think that's the one. Well, I'm not seeing the other entrance. They said it was just like a foot-wide slit in the rocks here. I'm wondering if they, when they built these steps here, if they covered it up, maybe. Because there were some slits in the rock down there, but... I said it was just 30 feet away from the other ones, so I don't see anything here. Cool little line up there. So I'm wondering if this is the one they're referring to. Like it, my guess this is all filled in. So that's about the extent of the caves here at Lidditch Springs Park. It's about what I was expecting to find. Uh, like when I read about it online, it said there wasn't really anything you could crawl into. Um, like the main one is walled off, but it's probably you know, it's behind one of those little arched stone arches. There's that one looked like you, if you were small enough and didn't mind getting soaking wet, uh, you could probably crawl into a little bit. But they there's signs that say it's places under surveillance and stuff. So I think they look down upon people trying to crawl into those places. I'm sure it would be too, there's a lot of people here, so I'm sure it would be too long before someone uh, uh, reported you, so. Anyway, neat little, neat little park regardless, even, even with the caves, it's a neat spot. Pretty popular spot here. I'll just take one more trip back down there and look at those little arches again, but so there are caves here at Lidditch Springs, you just can't really uh, access them unless you uh, could rip that one grate out, or if you're a smaller person, but they are here. And we'll take one last look at them. And the ducks. Yeah, there's the interesting one that you probably could crawl a little ways into. There's the one with the grate that you at one time could have gone under and up in. Yeah, that one I probably could fit into, but it's getting out though, probably the problem. So, anyway, I'm gonna head on back to the truck and head on home and get hungry. Time to eat lunch. So, just a quick little trip here. Like I said, just do some reconnaissance, you know, just to see what the situation was here at the caves. So, there are some here actually, you just can't really access them. But, cool park nonetheless. I mean, check it out. It's kind of a scenic place with the spring and some arched bridges up there. All right, I'll see you around.